Hi everyone, welcome to session 3. In this session, uh, we are going to discuss about endomembrane system. Dear students, uh, we know about uh, semi-fluid matrix in cell that is called cytoplasm that has membrane bound cell organelles along with presence of non-membrane bound cell organelles and this is called endomembrane system. So this endomembrane system includes endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes and vacuoles. Each of the membrane organelle is distinct of its structure and function. Distinct which means different in terms of its structure and function. And many of these together considered as endomembrane system. The endomembrane system include endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes and vacuoles and vacuoles. Yes, let us discuss the first one this endoplasmic reticulum. Electron microscopic uh, studies on eukaryotic cell revealed that the presence of network or reticulum like tiny tubular like structure scattered in the cytoplasm is called endoplasmic reticulum. Yes, tiny tubular like structure present or scattered in the cytoplasm this is called endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum divide the intercellular space into two compartments. The one is luminal which means inside the endoplasmic reticulum this is called luminal and external luminal cytoplasm compartments. So, this is called external luminal external luminal yes and if the ribosomes attach to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, see these are all ribosomes. If the ribosomes attach to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, it become rough. That is considered as rough endoplasmic reticulum. The function of a rough endoplasmic reticulum, synthesis of proteins, synthesis of proteins and secretion and secretion. And if the ribosomes are not attached to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, it becomes smooth that is considered as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The function of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis of lipids, synthesis of lipids and in animal cells lipids like steroidal hormone synthesis takes place in smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, this is all about endoplasmic reticulum. The next one is Golgi complex. The Golgi complex first observed by the scientist Camillo Golgi. Camillo Golgi in the year of 1898. In the year of 1898, he observed densely stained reticulum structure or network like structure present towards near the nucleus and it shows flat disc shaped sac like structure that is called cisternae and along with this cisternae presence of some tubules and vesicles and these cisternae stacked to parallel one another arranged in concentric manner and to form two hands one is convex cis end is also called convex cis face another one is concave trans face is also called concave trans end this convex cis face is faced towards the nucleus and the concave trans end which face towards the outer surface. So, these are all about the Golgi complex and the functions of Golgi complex it is packing material for intercellular transport as well as secretion to the outside and synthesis of many proteins in ribosomes that are modified in cisternae of Golgi complex and synthesis of glycoproteins and glycolipids glycoproteins and glycolipids so this golgi complex which is also helps to formation of primary lysosomes primary lysosomes yes these are all about uh, golgi complex 
The next one is lysosomes. Lysosomes commonly called as uh, suicide bags of the cells. And it is membrane bound vesicular structure formed by the process of packaging in Golgi complex. It is found in eukaryotic cell and sometimes it is spherical or irregular in shape. And these lysosomes stores some hydrolytic enzymes, hydrolase like lipase, lipase, protease, carbohydrates, carbohydrates enzymes. So these enzymes active at acidic pH, active at acidic pH and capable of digesting the proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and nucleic acids. And sometimes these enzymes digest the some cell organelles. That's why the lysosome is considered as suicide bags of the cells. So this is all about lysosomes. And the next one is vacuoles. These students we already know about vacuoles because already we discussed in uh, both the differences between plant cell and animal cells. Uh, and we studied the central large vacuole present in plant cell. See vacuole is also membrane bound sac like vesicles. Membrane bound sac like vesicles present in plant cells. Present in plant cells. And it store water, cell sap and excreted products and other molecules which is not used for cell. And these vacuoles is covered by the membrane that is called tonoplast. That is called tonoplast. So these tonoplast facilitate to transport of number of ions and other molecules against the concentration gradient into the vacuole. See, vacuole is very important for many organisms. For example, in amoeba, presence of contractile vacuole. Amoeba, presence of contractile vacuole, which is helps to maintain the osmoregulation. Contractile vacuole, which helps to maintain the osmoregulation and excretion. Yes. And in many cells, as in protista, presence of food vacuole. See, this food vacuole is uh, formed by engulfing of food particle. So, this is all about endomembrane system. The endomembrane system includes both the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes, and vacuole. The next one is mitochondria. These students we know about mitochondria, commonly called as powerhouse of the cell, because of it releases the energy in the form of ATP. Unless specifically stained, the mitochondria is not visible under microscope. And the number of mitochondria is variable per cell, variable in cell and cell to cell. So it's depend on physiological activity of cell and the size and shape also variable. See already we discussed about this in the differences between plant cell and animal cell. Compared to plant cell, the animal cell has more number of mitochondria and typically the mitochondria is a sausage 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 which means a sauce cup shaped and cylindrical in shape and the diameter of mitochondria 0.1 to 1.2 micrometer and it is double membrane bound organelle presence of outer membrane and inner membrane in between the outer membrane and inner membrane presence of that space that space is called perimitochondrial space and the inner membrane is the inner membrane compartment is filled with a dense homogeneous a dense homogeneous substance is called matrix so this matrix has dna mitochondrial dna and rna and some ribosomes and some enzymes and these ribosomes and enzymes and DNA, RNA, both are helps in protein synthesis. And the inner membrane shows some number of infolding like structure or finger like projections is called cristae. Is called cristae. So this cristae made up of F1 elementary particles or is also called Rucker particles 
which helps in production of ATP. So, these are all uh, structure of mitochondria. The functions of mitochondria is mitochondria is the main site of cellular respiration or aerobic respiration, aerobic respiration and production of ATP takes place here. That is why it is called power of self cell and the matrix, the mitochondrial matrix contain circular DNA and ribosomes and RNA and a DNA which is helps in protein synthesis, it helps in protein synthesis. So, these are all about functions of mitochondria. Yes, the mitochondria is a sausage shaped or cylindrical shaped, the diameter is 0.1 to 1.2 and the number of mitochondria per cell varies even size and shape also. It is a double membrane bound organelle present of outer membrane and inner membrane in between presence of perimitochondrial space. The inner membrane compartment is filled with a dense homogeneous substance is called matrix. The matrix has uh, RNA, mitochondrial DNA and plasmid and ribosomes which is helps in protein synthesis and, and the inner membrane shows some finger like projections or in number of infolding like structure is called crystal. The crystal made up of F1 elementary particles is also called Rucker's particles which helps in ATP production and the functions of mitochondria is site of aerobic respiration and production of ATP that is why it is called powerhouse of the cell and is also helps in protein synthesis. The next one is plastids. Plastids are large organelle found in plants and euglenides and easily observed under microscope. And these plastids are classified into three types, three types based on pigments, based on presence of pigments. The first one is chloroplast, the second one is chromoplast and the third one is leucoplast. Chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Dear students, we know about uh, uh, chloroplast or the green plastids found in green plants. This chloroplast made up of uh, the pigment chlorophyll which is helps to grab the solar energy helps in photosynthesis function. And this chloroplast may be lens shaped, spherical, discoid and oval and cup shaped. And it is membrane bound organelle encloses the colorless watery matrix is called stroma. This stroma made up of some small circular double stranded DNA and ribosomes and some starch granules and some enzymes. And we can observe here some disc shaped structure arranged on one above the other. This is called thylakoids. So, these thylakoids are arranged like stock of coins is called grana, is called grana. Nearly 40 to 100 grana present in chloroplast which is interconnected by stroma lamellae, which is interconnected by stroma lamellae, okay. See the chloroplast is uh, green plastids present in plants made up of chlorophyll pigment which helps to trap the solar energy helps in photosynthesis function. The chloroplast is a lens, cup, spherical, oval or discoid in shape, discoid, discoid in shape and membrane bound organelles encloses the a colorless watery matrix is called stroma. That stroma made up of small circular double stranded DNA and presence of ribosomes and some enzymes and some starch granules and presence of a flattened disc shaped arranged on one above the another is called thylakoids. These thylakoids arranged like stock of coins. These stock of coins are called grana, nearly 40 to 100 granas present in chloroplast which is interconnected by stroma lamellae. So, these are all about uh, chloroplast. The next one is chromoplast, chromo which means
color plastids. So these are all red, yellow, orange plastid which contains xanthophylls and carotenoids which is mainly present in flowers and fruits which helps for attract the pollinators. And the last one is leucoplast. See leucoplast are the colorless plastids. Leucoplast are the colorless plastids which is found in the storage organs like uh, tubers and fruits. The main function of this uh, leucoplast is storage of oils and fats. If the leucoplast store the oils and fats is called helioplast. The leucoplast stores the proteins is called elidoplast. The leucoplast stores the starch, starch is called amyloplast, amyloplast. So these are all about uh, chromoplast and uh, leucoplast. Chromoplast are the color plastids, these are red, yellow, orange plastids which mainly contain xanthophyll and carotenoids and which is uh, present in especially fruits and flowers which is helps to attract the pollinating agents or pollinators and the leucoplast or the colorless plastids which is mainly present in storage organs like tubers and fruits and these leucoplast main function is storage of oils and fats if the leucoplast store the oils and fats is called helioplast if the leucoplast store the starch is called amyloplast if the leucoplast store the protein is called aleroplast this is all about plastids yes dear students in this session uh, we have discussed about endomembrane systems like uh, endoplasmic reticulum and uh, golgi complex and lysosomes vacuoles and membrane bound organelles like uh, mitochondria porous of the cells and plastids and plastid types based on their presence of pigments chloroplast chromoplast leucoplast thank you